Well, hello, Dr. Guy. I um, want to first ask uh, for our audience to, for you to talk and express a little bit about who you are uh, and what you do as a physician. So uh, I am a board certified uh, internal medicine physician, but I'm also board certified in integrative and holistic medicine, as well as um, uh, certified as an uh, Institute for Functional Medicine uh, certified physician for uh, in functional medicine. And that's what I really practice. My practice is focused on just integrative and functional medicine at this time. Thank you so much for sharing that. And we are here to talk about Beamer. So I, I want to know what your Beamer story is. Like, how did you become interested in Beamer, uh, come across it? Uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about that. So if I may, I, I want to give you a little bit of a background. Uh, I had a serious health crisis of my own more than a decade ago, and that's when conventional medicine could not help me. And I left practicing internal medicine for a year and a half to heal myself using complementary integrative and functional medicine protocols. And that's really how I got interested in integrative and functional medicine. And, uh, you know, when I started my practice, the premise of healing in my practice was that we need to provide the body what it's lacking and then take away what it doesn't need. And healing just happens. And the body intuitively knows how to heal itself as long as we get out of the way. And so when Bima was brought into my attention, uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the Bima when I was sick. Uh, I believe it would have enhanced and, uh, my recovery rate. Uh, but it was brought to my attention about three years ago in April of 2017. And I had already been looking at medical studies um, uh, for a PEMF device because I, I did realize with all my research that, you know, um, it does improve microcirculation and bioelectromagnetic energy by mimicking the beneficial frequencies of the earth. And it also balances and enhances muscular as well as our nervous systems, both parasympathetic and sympathetic. So, uh, you know, this I thought was absolutely something that should be uh, considered in any integrative healing practice. And uh, I felt like this will be the future of medicine. And it intuitively felt right to use it in my own life um, because it tied in with my philosophy of healing anyway, right? We, we wanted to provide things that the body might potentially be lacking, like nutrients, oxygen, balanced bioenergetics, balanced mm -hmm. muscular nervous system, and take away what the body didn't need. Mm -hmm. So uh, when um, you know I uh, was exposed to it, I was almost ready for it, and I went ahead. Uh, and initially, I was only using it at home for myself for almost 15 months after I bought, which I don't really recommend. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, but when I started seeing a lot of effects, I then started sharing it. Uh, and I, I actually, soon after I bought the Beamer, I had actually a severe trauma to the soft and hard tissues of one of my toes uh, with just an accident in my black backyard with my dog. Mm -hmm. And the Beamer dra dramatically improved uh, and enhanced the recovery time. Um, and I was able to heal within three weeks versus three months, which I was told it would take. And I had only used the spot applicator at that time. That's very impressive. Thank you. So you talked about using Beamer with yourself. Are you also using Beamer in clinical practice? And if you are, how has Beamer impacted both either your patient's life and or your practice, uh, including practice revenue? Oh, yes, I do use it in my clinical practice. So I, I didn't do it for the first 15 uh, months, as I said, but almost for two years now, I have been using it and I've really um, seen a lot of beneficial effects. Um, and, you know, uh, as you know, in functional medicine, the people who come to me are suffering from a lot of chronic conditions. But at the baseline, it's always poor circulation as well as increased stress, lack of sleep, low energy, which could be the primary causes, but also the consequence of those chronic diseases. Sure. So um, I, I felt like this device, as, as I saw the effects on myself and my family, I felt like this is something I needed to share. And then patients started reporting higher energy and more athletic uh, and faster athletic recovery, better sleep, stress reduction. And then I got even more bolder and started using it on different medical conditions, of course, as an off-label use with consent from the patients. And uh, then uh, what happened is automatically if a patient benefited, they wanted to purchase it. And that's really how this whole process grew in my practice. Um, you know, I, uh, in my practice, I do, get, um, I think it is a source of residual income um, because uh, patients do come in and take sessions. 
I do have other beamers. Now I have four devices. So we also rent them out uh, if somebody wants to do it that way. And uh, so that, that has helped, uh, you know, give me some additional revenue stream, uh, which then uh, covers up some of the time that it takes to train the patient or the client and the extra employee time that it might take. Uh, so I, I do appreciate that. And I think every doctor, especially in the integrative arena, should be looking at uh, this device, especially with the class two clearance at this time. Absolutely, which brings me into to the next uh, questions I have for you. Uh, and it's a combination, two part type of question is, how do you recommend Beamer to your patients as part of a healthy lifestyle? And do you recommend Beamer to other doctors or colleagues to use? And, and if so, how are both your patients and or your colleagues uh, feedback on this novel type of therapeutic intervention? Yes, I absolutely do recommend the Beamer to my patients as a part of their healthy lifestyle, which is what we, of course, recommend in functional medicine. It's really a simple conversation. It, I really ask uh, my patient, okay, you're trying to improve your health and wellness and grow older in a healthy manner, right? And would you not want to use something that would increase the oxygen delivery to all of your tissues deep down to the level of the cells, which is where we know the mitochondrial um, dysfunction happens, uh, which is mitochondria are the energy factories of our cell, and they produce something called ATP, which is our energy currency. And so we all want to improve that in our body on a daily basis, because if we don't, that's when disease takes hold. And then would you also not want to provide your body with more nutrients, whether it's from your diet, whether it's from the supplements you might be taking, or if you're on medication, would you not want the medication to reach deep down and do its job properly? And of course, at the same time, you want to remove stuff that the body does not need. And so uh, if we could get your body uh, uh, blood circulation to function at the level when you were much younger, maybe in your teens or as children, uh, why would we not want to try that? And most of them say yes. And then I explain it to them that in just eight minutes twice a day of use, which uh, it will help their overall performance and recovery and enhance local blood flow, microcirculation, oxygenation, which will then automatically enhance their strength, endurance, energy, resiliency. And I also explain that this can be done locally with some of the applicators, but that leads to a improved blood flow. Uh, and, and uh, you know, we know that in functional medicine, there are, they, they, when they come to me, they're a self-selected group of people mm -hmm. who either have serious chronic conditions or they're looking to achieve wellness, healthy aging, and prevent future disease. So usually they say yes. Now, the second part to your question about recommending BMO to other doctors, yes, yes. I do. I'm uh, very passionate about teaching. I, I take my responsibility as a doctor which means a teacher pretty seriously. And so I do events in my office on microcirculation and I have invited MDs, chiropractors, podiatrists to hear me speak about the science of BIMA as well as the changes in local blood flow that can influence every part of our body and pretty much any chronic condition. Unfortunately, I, I must say that my experience has been, especially medical doctors are a little resistant to this so far and I believe it will take a little bit more time and I think more BIMA usage in the US uh, to reach a certain tipping point uh, as to the number of people who are using and sharing it before we will see that rapid growth in more doctors accepting the technology. But I also believe that with the class two clearance, it will become a little bit easier because the fields of physical therapy, occupational therapy, rehab, I believe will start uh, accepting this technology more and more with the NGX classification. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And, you know, this is one of the reasons why I uh, began using Beamer uh, itself versus any other PMF device. Why have you chosen Beamer or Beamer technology versus any other pulse electromagnetic field device or tech? Yeah, so you and I both know uh, that it is the most researched PMF device, and there's more than 20 years of research. Uh, that's And a lot of it is available on PubMed and other sites. And so, uh, you know, I had been looking at, as I mentioned before, into something like this, but I looked at a lot of the clinical research, not only in the US, but also coming out of the European um, medical field. And I, I see how effectively they have used it for a whole host of clinical conditions, which of course are off label in the US. And that had piqued my interest. And I couldn't really find any other device that had so much clinical research behind it. And then uh, finally, when I bought it, the, the thing that really, encouraged me to pursue uh, Beamer versus other devices was the Beamer comparison study, uh, 
uh, where it was compared with a few other devices. Mm -hmm. And the changes in oxygenation that I saw with the Beamer was the final convincing factor for me. Of course, NASA as well, right? The fact that they are intending to use this technology uh, for uh, the astronauts to wear in their space suits. So uh, when I do talk to my patient, I, I really explain to them that it's a very safe device. And I've already told you what I tell them about what, it, what all it can do. But I do explain to them the safety because sometimes that is a concern. Uh, and uh, I, I tell them that if it is safe for you to walk or run on Earth with your bare feet, um, you know, the, it's extremely safe to use the Beamer on a daily basis because the frequencies that are being used with this device are very equitable to the natural resonances of the Earth's geomagnetic field. And if, uh, you know, if, if that's safe for us, then the Beamer is safe for us. And one other thing I do also talk about sometimes when uh, somebody's an animal lover is that I explain to them that yeah. pets do really gravitate towards the Beamer. We know that from many households that are using Beamer. And if they have a pet, the pet usually goes and gravitates towards the Beamer or will go and sit on uh, the, the, you know, uh, pad or be near it. And so if we know that animals exist on a level of a very basic and very primal survival instinct, and for me, if, if, if uh, you know, they, anything that hurts their survival, uh, they will not go near it. So I think that also helps in some ways. And of course, NASA uh, does help. So I do explain that if somebody is really wanting to be technical and wants more research, I will send them research as well. Um, so I do all of the above. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Manisha, I want to thank you for your presence, your warm presence, your confidence, and your excitement around Beamer. And uh, I really want to recognize uh, your what you're doing in clinical practice, as well as your willingness to share your experiences with other, uh, both laypersons as well as physicians and clinicians uh, globally. So thank you. Hi, Dr. Lyle. Thanks for being here. And uh, before we get going, I would love for you to tell the audience a little bit about who you are, uh, what you do. And uh, yeah, we'll start there. Perfect. Well, my name is Dr. Laura Lyle, and I am a board certified medical doctor and also a compounding pharmacist for the better part of 30 years. And I focus on preventative health and wellness and longevity. Fabulous, fabulous. And because this is about Beamer, I want to know a little bit about how you became interested in Beamer. What's your quote unquote Beamer story? Can you uh, express that a bit? Yes. So I um, live in Atlanta and I had uh, a Falcons, ex Falcons player um, come up to me and he had at, told me about the Beamer and I, you know, listened to him and I thought it was interesting, but I didn't really have any, I thought I didn't have an application for it, but he, he circled back around. And um, so I um, called him and he said, look, I can share that with you. And he brought it over to my office and I was on my way to my Nashville office. And, and from there, the rest is history. Uh, my husband is, uh, uses it regularly for his back from golfing. Fabulous, fabulous. So it's clear that you are using Beamer in clinical practice. So how has this impacted um, both your patient's health and uh, maybe a little bit of your practice revenue too? Well, it's had a tremendous impact on our patients. We've, um, you know, introduced this into many patients uh, for various different conditions to try and increase the microcirculation. And, um, you know, patients have really responded well. I'm also seeing uh, nice changes in blood work. Um, I'm a little bit of a stockbroker. I love um, tracking numbers. And so right. I've been able to see some of the positive benefits of decreased inflammation. Um, obviously, it is a revenue stream uh, for the practice. And we have been able to uh, you know, substantiate um, our practices income by, you know, being able to provide Beamers to patients as well. Excellent. Excellent. What outcomes have you observed with yourself and or your patients with Beamer therapy? Well, definitely personally. Um, I remember um, hearing um, many patients or, or people at the meetings talk about um, their positive experience with sleep and how much they woke up and were regenerated. And I just couldn't believe it because, you know, uh, I hear all the time, you know, sleep is a problem for many. And I do feel it also helps um, with recovery after exercise. If I'm aggressive on the tennis court, or I hear this from patients as well, that they can um, have a good recovery and better performance when they're trying to um, do athletic uh, sports activities. 
Sure. And with that regard, how do you recommend Beamer to your patients as a part of a healthy lifestyle? Well, uh, first of all, consistency in use. Uh, we do mm -hmm. recommend getting people into habits. It's no different than getting into a habit of taking nutraceuticals or getting exercise. Uh, we want our patients to understand the importance of being consistent, but we also, so working them through the basic plan of, of cycling through the different weeks of, of moving up on the uh, level, but also then educating them about the use of spot treatment um, if they are having a specific area of injury. So your patients you're making recommendations to, do you also recommend uh, or share Beamer with colleagues? And if so, how do you give the colleagues or even your patients the confidence to use the product? Is it through the research? Is it your experience? Maybe uh, expand a little more on that. I think the most important um, piece to a patient-doctor relationship is trust. Yeah. And um, I'm fortunate because our patients have been with us for many years. And um, their, the, the ability to be able to make a recommendation with passion, um, it, the product sells itself because we're wanting to help people and we, they've been able to come to trust what we recommend. Um, I do think that colleagues, um, you know, sometimes don't always understand, uh, but we've really been able to educate them on the science. And uh, we are seeing a lot more in the literature about microcirculation and especially during um, times like this where we're all trying to stay healthier and help our immune response we can help encourage other ways to do so, to get our bodies improved. Yes, absolutely, I agree with you. Um, and then back to the, their colleagues, uh, are there colleagues that you communicate Beamer with? Uh, do you share information, research? I do. Um, you know, we certainly have patients that have done well. And for example, a patient recently had a knee replacement, second knee replacement, and um, placing him on the Beamer a few weeks ahead of time. And then he really had an amazing recovery. And his orthopedic surgeon obviously uh, was impressed compared to what he did on his last um, surgery and recovery. And so that gives opens the door when a physician sees something that's unusual and a different pattern that the patient can um, mention what they're doing and that allows us to connect and, su and supply information. Wonderful. And I mean, there's, there's other devices out there, other medical devices. Why did you choose Beamer? And uh, was it the science behind it? Uh, was it just your experience? Is there any specific medical cases that come to mind that impressed you with Beamer therapy? Well, I think the most important is the science. Um, I, we have a very educated uh, patient base who are well-read. And mm -hmm. obviously there are many devices out there and many continuing to come out. Uh, but the key is there are, you know, research, evidence-based research that's um, on the market. And also patients um, do well with it. And so, you know, I believe that when we have something that works, we all, it's much easier to see the consistency in the patient improvement. It makes it easier also to be very clear that this is a, a better choice. I feel that the, the, the years of work and science and putting it into the patent have made um, Beamer's technology superior. That's great to hear. And, and Dr. Lyle, it's literally patient, or rather uh, clinicians, uh, physicians just like you who recognize the safety, recognize the efficacy, and are willing to deploy this amongst their patients as an adjunctive therapy to support either mainstream care or as a part of anyone's healthy lifestyle. So thank you for that. And, and thank you for sharing. It's really appreciated. My pleasure. I'm excited to get more patients on board and we want to continue to get the word out. And please, before you go, can you uh, say what the uh, saying is behind you? It says the art and science. Ah, yes. This is my office in Atlanta. The art and science of your health. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for combining both the art and science together, utilizing Beamer. And I've heard amazing things about your practice, your patients. And so uh, I really honor you in your uh, mode and your uh, delivery of these types of novel therapeutic interventions. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We're excited to continue to see Beamer get in every household. All right. So Dr. Lazar, thank you for being here today. Uh, before we do get started, um, I'd like to, for you to tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, uh, maybe uh, about your Beamer story, how you got interested in Beamer. 
Sure. So I had uh, some people come into my clinic and they were, uh, they had mentioned Beamer and I was, I think like any other, you know, provider, I was busy and not really interested in, you know, other stuff and our systems were working. So I said no for a while. I wasn't really interested in looking at it. And then a, um, a long-term patient of mine, we were trying to get some stuff to change with his autonomic nervous system. And he came in and we noticed changes I noticed changes and I asked him what he was doing and he said, there's this new device. And I immediately thought Beamer and I actually was, I thought, oh man, I really hope it's not that thing. Cause then I'd have to look into it. I don't want to look into it right now. Um, and it was, that was the thing. It was Beamer. So I started looking into it and I did some research and I thought, well, now's, now's as good a time as any to see how cool this thing is. Um, so that's, that's what threw me over the edge there to, to give it a shot. Excellent. And, and Dr. Lazar, please tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, your, your um, clinical skills, your, your background, that type of stuff. Sure, absolutely. So I am a chiropractor. I'm an upper cervical specialist. So I did a three-year postdoctorate uh, training in taking pressure off the brainstem. Mm -hmm. um, I have two certifications in that, two board certifications, and then I'm adjunct faculty at three chiropractic colleges, and then I guess lecture for University of Michigan um, Department of Facial Pain. And um, yeah, wherever wherever will have me come in and share uh, the power of this work, getting pressure off the brainstem. That's where that's where I'll talk. <laughs> Wonderful. So, so it's, um, it's pretty clear that you are using Beamer in clinical practice. And how has Beamer impacted both either your patient's life and or your practice, uh, including practice revenue? Yeah. So because of the nature of our work, so brainstem pressure throws the autonomic nervous system out of balance. And then we see a lot of things that show up in, in categories like chronic inflammatory conditions, Parkinson's, mm -hmm. multiple sclerosis, um, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, ADHD, some of those, well, ADHD might be different, but so because of that, whenever somebody has any sort of history like that, we immediately introduce Beamer to them um, on their second visit. So the first visit we do nervous system evaluation, a full three-dimensional scan of um, the nervous system. We do a 10-point posture check and digital x-rays from the base of the skull down to the bottom of the pelvis. Mm -hmm. After that, on their second visit, when we report their findings to them, we introduce Beamer at that point, and we have um, uh, an FDA-cleared class two medical device that will help um, increase localized circulation, which will help in this situation. You have two options. You can use ours in our office, and we've included that in your care plan, um, you know, each visit, or it's more cost-effective and more effective in general if you have one at home because best practices for this are that you use it twice a day. So would you like to use ours or would you like to have one at home that you and your family can use? That's kind of how we introduce it. And then we let them pick whatever makes the most sense for them. Sure, sure. And so you're renting devices. Um, so you're doing a combination of therapeutic interventions, uh, which is also an income as well as your rental rent. So we actually don't do any rentals ourselves. I um, I send them to Carla DeClou, who is our is my mentor, um, mm -hmm. and I let her handle the rentals. But we do sell them directly to we do sell them directly to patients. That's great to have a distributor, an uh, independent Beamer distributor that you can count on to help facilitate that process. That's excellent, uh, Dr. Lazar. For sure. Dr. Milhan, it's so wonderful to have you on this medical panel. Uh, one of the questions I'd like to start with asking you is, what is your Beamer story? And uh, yeah, just a little bit about that would be wonderful for our audience. For sure. So about three and a half years ago, one of my patients who had seen me go through lots of trials and tribulations with back issues came into my office one morning and said, hey, Dr. Judd, I'm going to introduce you to someone that's going to help your back. So that's how I was introduced to Beamer. And I let uh, an individual guy by the name of David Easterbrooks, who's legendary in this company, come into my office and show me the Beamer. And I was on it for, you know, eight minutes, Monday through Friday, and maybe eight minutes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the mm -hmm. next week, and I had to leave town. Um, I was on the Pacific Ocean, you know, trying to catch a marlin in a very small boat, pounding in the waves for three days. And the guide said to me, hey, look, it's not marlin season, come back in October. And so I went to the hotel room and I told my wife, Leslie, I said, you know, my back should be killing me. 
I mean, it's not killing me. Do you think this dude with the mat is onto something? So that's when I started reading and researching Beamer and PEMF. And, uh, you know, I understand a little bit about the circulation and I just thought it was the right thing to do. And I, and I, I bought one for myself and it's, it's, it's absolutely changed my life. Thank you for that. Really appreciate that, Dr. Milhan. Why have you chosen Beamer, Beamer technology, versus any other pulse electromagnetic field device or tech? Well, I think the effect on the microcirculation and vasomotion, the prolonged effect with the Beamer signal, uh, you know, trumps every other device. And I remember a trial that compared Beamer and four other competitors looking at the effect of, of the signal with the vasomotion and, and the, the microcirculation flow that it made perfectly good sense to me that the, the Beamer patented signal is the best. Thank you, thank you. And I mean, I know yourself as a cardiologist, you don't necessarily use Beamer in your clinical practice. However, you have, uh, you and I have spoke about um, you're making recommendations to your practice. If so, um, how has Beamer impacted uh, your patient's health and your practice uh, revenue? For you, it's not your practice, it's more your patient's health that I would ask about. Right, so I'm an employed physician uh, with a large healthcare uh, entity here in Ohio. So during my work hours, I cannot discuss Beamer or any other potentially conflict of interest medical device. So I've shared Beamer with my friends, family, and patients after hours. And um, I've seen incredible results with, with all of those groups, um, personally, uh, family, friends, and uh, also patients. Uh, the Beamer signal, uh, the effect on circulation has improved lots and lots of medical conditions that don't need to be named, you know, uh, individually, but it's, it's been a very positive effect for, for most of the people I've shared Beamer with. Fabulous. And again, not to get into any direct medical um, observations, but what outcomes have you observed with yourself and your patients as far as Beamer therapy? Uh, general wellness, uh, maybe more energy, these types of things, more about lifestyle and supporting as an adjunctive tool uh, for one's healthy lifestyle. So correct. I mean, I obviously um, really advocate a healthy lifestyle with diet and exercise and water and hydration and all that, but I think Beamer is a perfect fit as an adjunct to a good lifestyle. But what I've seen most notably for most of the people I've experienced Beamer with is uh, increased energy. Um, that's, that's probably my number one effect in, in the people that I've shared it with. Uh, I've seen lots of other effects, uh, improved sleep, um, improved flexibility, uh, better performance during uh, exercise and, and shorter recovery. Those are the main things that I've seen in the last three and a half years I've been sharing Beamer. Wonderful. Uh, as far as uh, we talked about your medical practice a bit, do you recommend Beamer to other doctors or your colleagues? We certainly know you recommend Beamer to your, your patients. And if so, either your colleagues or patients, how do you um, support or convince them to look at the product or use the product? So with my patients, most of them have seen a, a distinct improvement in myself. So um, I see people on a yearly basis and, and they come in and they say, Dr. Judd, you're smiling. You're getting in and out of the chair. What, what's happened to you? How, how, how's your back so much better? And so that's the initiation of a conversation that occurs outside of, of my uh, work hours. And that's how I introduce patients to Beamer. My colleagues are a tough, tough group. Um, like myself, they're not as willing to look at sort of the non-traditional or uh, adjunctive th therapies that could help because they're expecting these large multi-center randomized placebo control controlled trials. And you know, if they don't see a lot of those, they're not willing to really open their eyes to it. And, and the reason that I opened my eyes to Beamer is because I was desperate. I, I, I tried everything I could think of and, and, and the traditional type of therapies did not help. Beamer was just incredible in how it turned myself around. So the few colleagues that, that have 
come over to my house and seen the Beamer and been on the Beamer uh, have seen positive results. So I think it's a large hill to climb, but I'm willing to uh, push, push that rock up the hill until we get all of my colleagues and all of the traditionally trained physicians to really think about the positive effect and the adjunctive effect of Beamer. Well said, Dr. Judd. And you know, the pr proof, they say the proof is in the pudding, or in this case, the proof is in the, the signal. And um, I, you explained uh, some very wonderful aspects of how you personally were um, affected with Beamer in a positive way. Is there any specific medical cases that come to mind that impressed you with Beamer therapy? Yeah, I mean, one of the first people that I shared Beamer with um, was one of my mom's friends. And at the time she was, she was 96 and she was living independently at home in her house about three blocks from my house. So I brought the Beamer over to her and set it up and you know I went to her house every three days after work just making sure she was doing it correctly and she had some issues with her back and that's what prompted her to use you know the Beamer. Um, so over time her back improved you know not substantially, but she saw amazing results. For instance, uh, her vision at night improved to the point where she started driving again, which is amazing at 96. That's right. uh, she had issues with, with her intestines that had been plaguing her for years uh, that were just resolved. So my experience with Beamer is sometimes it doesn't always work as effectively or to the positive effect that people would like to see on the specific reason they're using it, but they see the positive effects in other areas of their body and their health, and they, uh, they, they see the positive effect. Dr. Shaw, hello. Um, would you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, uh, where you're in practice, what you do, how you're trained, that type of thing? Sure. Uh, so I am a naturopathic medical uh, doctor and a licensed acupuncturist, Chinese herbalist. Uh, I have a practice here in Everett, Washington that we've had for about 14 years now. And uh, prior to that, I used to work in the biopharma industry as a protein biochemist doing research and development, which I really enjoyed the science of. Um, and also I had a little bit of dabbling when I was in school to study for that, uh, working as a pharmacy technician in a hospital and enjoyed that side of things as well. Great, I love your background. And because this is about Beamer, I wanna know a little bit, like, what is your Beamer story? How did you become interested in Beamer? Well, I became interested in Beamer most when I saw the video of how uh, microcirculation could change and shift. And it was something I felt very profoundly looking at that and thinking of all the possibilities that had to heal different areas of the body. Um, I, prior to that, didn't really know that much about microcirculation from my medical training. We got very little of it. As you know, we didn't even know much about it until about 20 years ago. And since then, there's been, of course, a whole lot of research in that area. And I think more and more uh, physicians are becoming aware of the importance for a whole lot of different areas in healthcare. Uh, but that was uh, how I first got interested in it. I was approached by um, Bettina and Greg Torres, hey, do you know anything about this device? And at first I was very skeptical uh, because have a lot of people come <laughs> and want to introduce things to us here at the office. And uh, once I saw the video, I was like, okay, you guys can come back and tell me more. And then I just got more and more interested from that time. Sure, sure. So I know you use Beamer yourself, um, but do you use Beamer in clinical practice? And if so, how has Beamer impacted both either your patient's life and or your practice, uh, including practice revenue? Right. So definitely we use it in the office. Um, and I do use it myself, you know, um, uh, very regularly. And I feel like after... I guess it's been probably about six and a half years that I've been using it. I feel like I know more what it's doing for me now than I did when I was first getting the initial benefits. I don't think I even recognized all what was happening at that time, but 
looking back, it's easier to see in hindsight how much things have changed, how much more energy I have, you know, how much better I sleep and recover. So those are all positive for me as an individual. Um, then how we use it in the clinic, uh, we do sessions with patients um, before and after different treatments that we do here in, in our clinic. We, because I'm an acupuncturist uh, and one of our other naturopaths does a lot of physical medicine, we see a lot of people that have been injured in some way or another. And we use the Beamer as part of our recovery process, combining it with the physical medicine and the acupuncture and see really good results with that. I think we can get people back on track uh, a lot faster, uh, which they appreciate greatly. And it's really a uh, really nice thing for us to see uh, from a practitioner standpoint that we're getting them the best that they could uh, hope for, basically. Um, sure. We have actually a lot of families that come here uh, for just general at primary care medicine as well and end up with a lot of the uh, high school and college athletes from those families that get injured one way or another coming in and doing some different therapies with them and their coaches and orthopedists are just amazed at how fast they're back in their game again. Sure. See that. So it looks like you've deployed Beamer through a vast array, about both as an adjunctive therapy, standalone therapeutic intervention. What outcomes have you observed with yourself and or your patients with Beamer therapy? So I would say right off the bat, usually what we tell our patients that are first uh, being introduced to Beamer is that the most universal feedback that we get is increased energy, and improved sleep. That's kind of like the most across the board thing that we hear. And then mm -hmm. of course, we have a lot of outcomes where people are having better mobility, um, less discomfort, and uh, just feeling more like they, you know, quote unquote, used to when they were feeling younger and healthier. And that's part of how we describe it to people is what we're trying to do is help that microcirculation recover back to what it was doing at an earlier, younger state or a pre-injury state. You know, the trauma can decrease microcirculation. Uh, if trauma is bad enough that you have to have surgery, then there's additional trauma from the surgery that's necessary, but that also causes decreased circulation. And now we also know that anesthesia does the same thing as well. So there's a lot to recover from when people have been injured and the Beamer just really helps accelerate that a lot, whether it's internal injuries or external injuries. Sure. And so we talked about um, recommending Beamer to your patients. How about mm -hmm. colleagues? Do you talk about Beamer or recommend Beamer to your colleagues? And how are they about um, using it or accepting it? Right. I definitely talk to uh, other colleagues about it. I would say um, that some people are really open to it and just kind of, too busy to think about something different. Right. Um, I have some other colleagues in town that are different types of practitioners uh, that say chiropractor, for example, he comes over and uses the Beamer here all the time. Um, he plays a lot of sports and he's constantly injuring something. You know, so I, every time I see him, I'm like, what is it this week? You know, <laughs> and he's in, but then he's back at it again right away. So uh, I definitely think that the medical field of all types is coming around to, in general, more and more thinking about preventative and integrative medicine and harnessing the power of increasing microcirculation is a big part of that. And more and more doctors are interested in it. Uh, I think that they usually just need more information and sometimes it's really hard for them to feel like they have the time to take that in. So that's one of the things I would say we have to work on. It's just kind of constantly reminding them, you know, hey, we're getting these good results. You know, we're reaching out to some other colleagues in our area right now. And we think you really should be aware of this for the benefit of your patients. Absolutely. And so back to information, how do you recommend Beamer to your patients as a part of a healthy lifestyle? So, Generally, I would say, um, you know, there are definitely situational 
of times where I've someone come in and has obvious compromise in their circulation, um, where I just jump right into the importance of that for their specific condition and talk about the fact that this is, you know, an FDA registered device. We've been using it here for years, seeing really good results. And for the most part, I think that's a good start for a lot of people. Um, one of the number one questions, which I know people ask in general, but I get from my patients as well, is what am I going to feel? Am I going to feel anything? So I usually try to uh, prepare them that they're not aware of what their microcirculation is doing 24-7 and all those tens of thousands of small vessels around their body. So they're probably not going to feel anything when they do it, uh, but they will feel the results over time. And that's right. the biggest thing, kind of setting that expectation. But um most people are, are, are pretty open to it. Uh, I would say the vast majority of people are willing to give it a try and see how it works for them. And I will definitely talk about the science with certain patients. We have a lot of engineers in our area. We're right close to Boeing's largest manufacturing facility in the world. And so got a lot of engineers, a lot of people that work at hospitals around here that come as patients. So they always have more questions and I'm happy to go into that science more with them. Uh, but I'm finding more and more that they're, they're already more aware of microcirculation, so we don't have to go into quite as much detail. Right, right. Uh, yeah, it's becoming well known. And I mean, you've been using, how long have you been using Beamer, uh, Dr. Shaw? So I believe it was 2013 when we first got Beamer in here kind of on a trial basis and started using it in the office. And then, you know, it, it probably, took us about six months to get going with it because um, I was just really busy at the time. I didn't have time to figure everything out. But then once we started using it and seeing the results that we had with the benefit to our patients, then we started using it more and more and have been steadily using it since that time. And like I said, now we have, I think, three or four different rental units that we have that go out with people that are too far away to come in for sessions. And especially in our current situation with the pandemic, it's harder for people to get around as well. So that has been really helpful for people. And to your question earlier, it's been something that's been helpful as a revenue source as additional to the other therapies that we do. Um, Cause it is a, a cash service to the practice. We don't have to spend a lot of time billing the insurance companies and waiting and hoping to get paid from them. So it's nice to, to have something that is a good team player from the sense of the medicine and the healing is also a good team player from a financial standpoint. For sure. And there's other PMF devices on the market. Why over seven years ago did you choose Beamer off of any of those other devices? Right. So when I was introduced to Beamer, it did make me curious more about uh, PMF devices. And uh, as a person that was really familiar with PubMed and doing research, because I did that for years and years, that's the first thing I did was get on there and see what was available. And there really was the most information about Beamer on on the, those uh, reliable sources of scientific information. So. I went to that first and that's what I saw it was Beamer and then some general information about PMF and a wide range of fields and also saw a review showing that Beamer was a safe one to use. Um, so that just made me feel more confident in the Beamer and over time when I'm learning more about different PMF devices, I feel like Beamer has a really good target in affecting the microcirculation and that allows the body to heal profoundly but it's a gentle approach where I feel like there are some other products out there that are very <laughs> strong and I almost feel like could be dangerous to use so um, I feel really comfortable that I'm safe with my patients using Beamer. Absolutely, absolutely.